the reason this menu is way better than MXT is because you can do a lot more than just give yourself liquid. You can basically control the entire lobby if you really wanted to. And there's a lot of fun stuff inside of it, a lot of trolling options as well. If you want a tutorial of just how to inject the menu, then that will be listed in the description. If you want a better showcase of what's actually inside of the menu, I'll leave some showcases in the description as well. So first, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're actually on zombies mode when we inject the menu. And to inject the menu, we're going to need the T7 compiler. If you don't already have this, then I recommend actually checking out the tutorials I mentioned earlier. And they will be locked, locked in the description. So once we have this compiler open, then we're going to need our GSCC file. This can be found on my Discord server. Once you download this, we're just going to press I on the ejector and then drag our .gscc file that we got from our Discord and throw that into the injector and then press enter. And then we should be injected. Now all we got to do is force host. And to do that, we're just going to start up a solo game on a random map. You'll know the menu is loaded because you'll first be greeted by UI elements at the very bottom that welcome you to the menu. Now to go to force host, we need to open the menu by aiming and knifing. We go to host options, we go to server options, and then we go to force host. Once enabled, we're done. We can just kill server and this will terminate the match. Now that we have force host, we can now go and start a uh, join public game. And once we click on this, because we're using force host, this will actually force us into a lobby by ourselves. Um, making us the host of that game. And once we are put into our own lobby, the game will force other people to join us instead. We can only use the menu online if we are host of the game. This would be also the reason why um, MXT is not as great as my menu, or just GSC menus in general. And this is because MXT is made to be an off-host menu, where you can do things only your client can allow where with GSC menus, you are this, you are the host, you are the server. So essentially you don't have to try to fight to tell the server what to do. Since you are the server, you can make the game do whatever you want, even to other players that are connected to you. So as you can see, I have players in my game, it's an online match and I have full access to the menu. Now, if you ever want more in-depth tutorial of how to get the T7 compiler or the injection process, or would like to see a better showcase of the menu, um, look no further than the description below. I know it's very annoying when YouTubers try to transfer traffic to their server, but I do have good reason for it. And that's because it kind of streamlines the process of me sending updates to everyone that wants the menu, because I can just put the updates on the server. And it also allows me to get feedback for people that use the menu, so I can put, you know, I can, all, I can do all that once in one place. Also, I will not be answering any comments on this video about troubleshooting the menu. Um, you, I'm just not going to answer you. <laughs> if you have any comments or need help with the menu, please go to the Discord server where you'll probably get faster responses from either me or someone else that wants to help you.